What's up guys, Eric with Hook Off The Grid. I'm out here doing a stretch on the mighty Mississippi in a Pats tournament, hoping to get bit. It's a three day event again, uh, Friday through, or Thursday night through Sunday, so I guess four night, three days um, event that's going on. We've got to catch our three biggest fish over three pounds. So I'm out here trying to get some big ones in the boat. I will say though, these landowners are making it awful tough on us fishermen because they blocked off the whole roadway where I used to park. So I ended up having to do a lot of trekking back and forth to get just to get my gear off. It's been a pain in the butt. So man, all I can say is respect the water, pick up your trash because that's the reason they're doing it. They don't like people out here uh, disrupting what they got, this nice river of theirs or their land that's around it and people trashing it. So just keep it nice guys and uh, let's get to fish and see if we can get on some fish. Hang with me guys, hopefully we'll get on a big one or three big ones. First one, boys, stuck a nice one. All right, guys, check this out. Look at that. That boy choked it. We need a three pounder for the Pat's tourney. Hopefully this old girl goes three. All right, guys, old girl went 310. Come on, first one on the board. We need to get two more. So it is beautiful out here today. You can see the background. It's kind of overcasted. It shouldn't rain on us. It is gorgeous. I'm throwing the depths 250. I had a lot of luck with it last time I was out. So I'm throwing that again. Just caught that 311. Hang with me. Hopefully we can pull some more big ones in. We need two more. Let's get it. Out, guys, a nice little one on the top toad. I don't think he's gonna go three, but nonetheless, still fun to catch. Let's see if we can get one more. All right, guys, so first one of the day, it's not gonna make the cut. This little guy only went 2-2. Two, two. For the tourney, you need a three pounder. Nonetheless, he's not bad. Small little two, 2-2. Two, two. But uh, at least they're biting now. Got him on the depths 250. Let's we'll see if we can get another one. Let that guy go. Heck yeah, boys. Stuck a nice one on the depths. Check that girl out. Long and skinny one. All right, guys, this one ain't gonna cut it either. 210. Not bad, but not big enough. Son of a gun. Two fish in, 
both under three pounds. You gotta get find that three. Heck yeah, boys. That is definitely a three. Just stuck this chunk. This one should give me three something. I'm guessing three, two, three, three. That's a good one right there. Let's get a weight on him. Well, guys, two, eight. Just short and fat. She missed the three mark, so this one ain't gonna count. Gosh dang it. Son of a gun. I weighed that three times. I was hoping it'd go three. Nope, two, seven, two, eight. Gosh, dang it. Well, back to the grind. Yeah. Come on. go guys it's been a slow start to the morning I've got this little guy on the chatterbait have been throwing the swim baits like crazy but I switched it up because I hadn't gotten bit and figured with all these uh, pads we throw the chatter something that can go through them a little better and the top toe things like that so hang with me we still need two more fish that are over three pounds and uh, hopefully we can get on them that definitely was not a three pounder so we're gonna need something bigger Let's go boys, another nice one. We'll see if she goes three, I don't know. It's gonna be close, but we'll see. All right guys, so that one went three even. It's officially on the board. Three on the dot. I'll let that one go, see if we can get one more. Guys, we just freaking stuck a toad, probably for the tournament. This could be a game changer. I'm gonna try to anchor up here real quick. Let's see, he's probably four or five. Definitely a game changer, boys. Check that out. Freaking stud, baby. Heck yes. That is exactly what we needed right there. Get a weight on him. See what this old girl goes. There she is, guys. Nice one. But that is not a bad one. 4-8 puts us in a good spot for the tourney. We're gonna let this old girl go. There she goes. Guys, so I just want to update y'all. This tournament has been a grind since uh, Friday for me. I came out Friday. I stuck, I uh, think, one fish, if I'm not mistaken. Went out Saturday to a spot that takes me like 40 minutes to get there. Skunked out, so drove the total opposite direction. Took me 40 minutes to get back and then another 30 to get out to the new spot. Um, caught four fish, which I'll try to make a video of all this if I can, but I caught four fish and uh, all of them were under three pounds. I think the biggest was 211, so that was a heartbreaker. Sunday today rolls around and uh, didn't want to come out. 
at all. I was kind of discouraged, said, you know what, I'm going to cut my losses and just throw in the towel. It, it's tough when you have three kids and you want to spend time with them. But the wife was like, you know what, you can't fish the next couple weekends. Go out and give it one more shot. Thank God she did. I don't know if I'll place, but I'll tell you something. I am actually in a good spot to to be up there. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I'll place and win a bait, but hey, I put myself in a heck of a spot. So now I'm just out here. I'm gonna try to cull out the smallest fish, which was a three even. See if I can bump me up to around 12 or 13 pounds, maybe get another four or five if possible. But uh, we'll see. Fishing hasn't been great, but the two fish I've caught so far have been awesome or big. So three and a four eight. And then we caught that little bitty guy, but I didn't even measure it. I mean, weigh him. He was probably right at a pound, but we'll see. Hopefully we can get one more good one. Hang with me. Right, guys this is for Pat's tournament scale is zeroed out you can see it all right zeroed out it is holding at 3-1 Holding at 3-1. Let that old boy go. What is up, guys? So I waited to do an outro on this video because I wanted to see where I was going to place in that Pats tournament. As you saw in the last video, I lost by two ounces, literally two ounces. And I said, you know what? Before I do an outro or anything, I want to see where I'm going to place, if I'm even going to place. And luckily, I placed in the top seven by the skin of my teeth. Uh, stick around to the end of this video. I came in seventh place out of 50 anglers. Guys, the Pats tournament is a freaking grind. People fish starting Thursday night, all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, till the cutoff. I'm talking some people are out there fishing 24 hours. It's a freaking stressful tournament and grind, but my gosh, does it pay off. I fished all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, drove. Uh, as you saw in the video, I drove different directions, hours, and just put in a lot of time on the water. And luckily, to come in top seven out of 50 anglers, to me, is a win. And I won the bait I wanted, which I thought out of the seven baits that were up there, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Pat swim baits, but fats are pretty common, and I figured that's what I was going to end up with. The bait I wanted was either a gill, a snack, or a gerbil. My second choice was a gerbil, first being the snack or the gill. Um... And I got the gerbil. I came in last in, to get a, a bait, and I got the gerbil. So stick around till after this video so you can see the bait that I won. Such a dope bait. I cannot wait to try it out. And guys, again, oh, before I get off, if you're interested in stickers, I still have a few left. Um, I'll leave my email down below, or if you have me on Instagram, just DM me. Let me know how many you want. Shoot me your address, and I can get them to you. Um, but guys, again, huge shout out to the ones that bought stickers. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support 100%. Really do, guys. Um, and again, just like, share, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.